um, training a bit delayed this morning. Did you let the boys know who the three-time NRLW champions are? Yeah, honestly, no. It was it was alright. We got to sit up on the balcony and watch the boys train, um, which is obviously really good. Their intensity is amazing, so we actually learned a bit this morning. What did you learn? Um, obviously, just the talk out the back. Um, I don't know how they do it. Obviously, they're really fit, but you know, when you're really tired, talk is um, key in the field. What have you made of so far? Um, yeah, it's been a bit interesting. We've had, um, obviously with the COVID um, regulations, we've had a few girls with COVID and, and a few coming back a bit late, but honestly, we're doing the best we can and with the squad that we have on the field at the moment, it's all running pretty smooth. Are you nervous? Because time's ticking, I guess, until round one and more and more players seem to be getting COVID. Have the NRL implemented anything new? Um, I think there's sort of rules about um, indoor seating, um, but all us girls are kind of being sensible at the moment anyways, you know, we're trying to look after our bodies and getting COVID would obviously be a big hit, um, but no, we're all being sensible and, and taking it as it comes. Obviously, obviously three in a row, you feel a little bit of a target on your backs this season coming up? Um, yeah, look, we try not to think about the three in a row, um, obviously it's pretty easy to forget about it when it was probably a year and a half ago now. Or, uh, so long ago, but um, oh, I think Broncos are always sort of the benchmark each year and we try and raise that and obviously the competition gets stronger and stronger, so uh, yeah, we just try and live up to that. You got the three in a row, but also in the pre people were talking about wanting to split you guys up, you were too dominant, do you have um, a chip on your shoulder about that as the group spoke about? Um, no, honestly, I think it just shows how um, loyal the girls are and the culture that we've created, you know, no one wants to leave this club, we all love it here and it's such a good culture that we've built. Was that tricky in the sense that the NRL are trying to make the competition more even? Yeah, I understand where the NRL is coming from, um, splitting the teams up, but it's really hard when you've got girls here that are dedicated to the Broncos and obviously live um, close by and, and love the coaching staff and the club. So um, for us girls, it was a no-brainer to stay loyal. And I guess with the teams, you know, like coming back in, there's three extra teams for you guys. This, and, you know, obviously the comp's getting bigger. How does that feel to see women's footy, you know, taking off? Yeah, honestly, we're all really excited. I think it's just going to bring um, more exposure to the game and, and more girls, especially the younger girls coming through. Um, we're going to see more talent out on the field, and that's really exciting. And you've got a couple new ones, you know, obviously Mosby, got some Highland heat in there. How does it feel and how are they kind of adjusting to being in the team? Yeah, honestly, they're fitting in so well. Um, so much talent in our back line and, you know, they're running through training really well and I can't wait for them to get out in the field. Is it a weird feeling having two NRLW seasons in the one year? Yeah, look, well, maybe by the second season it will be. We'll see how the body's holding up towards the second season. But um, at the moment, no, we're just so excited to get out there and loving training at the moment. It's um, pretty intense getting us ready for the big year. But, yeah, we're all stoked. It could be five in a row by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. How, how do you guard against complacency, given that every time you play, you blitz the competition? How, how do you guard against that kind of thing? Yeah, look, you just know, um, in the women's game especially, obviously we don't play the full 80 minutes, but honestly it's whoever turns up on the day is going to win uh, the footy match. So we have to be that person that turns up and that's how we train and that's how we prepare. Are there any rule changes? Or... What was that, sorry? Any rule changes? Um, I actually think I read something the other day, but I haven't come across it, which is probably really bad. Um, but no, I read something about um, no six again in the 40, but... Yeah, we're probably going to have to study that one a bit. Are there longer halves? Um, no, yeah. <laughs> I should, I should be knowing it. Yeah, yeah. I should be knowing it too, to be honest. Um, no, I think we are playing the seventy. Yeah. Anyone help me out? Oh, no, I can't. I'll find out. Um, also, was Millie Boyle out there? I didn't see her. Um, yeah, she's she's running around fine. She's doing a bit of off feet con at the moment. Um, she's one of the fittest forwards running around, so she's just um, going on the bike at the moment. Um, but yeah, all our forwards are in good nick.